Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the Sea and Tarot. So we're going to get into your read. Um, this is going to be for singles, okay? So if this does resonate, go ahead and pass up the video here on the white tee. So let's just see what we have. All the information are down below for me, all right? Um, these are general, not personal reads. So take what resonates and throw out the rest. So let's just see what's happening for singles. Let's see what's going on for singles, divine God, and divine ancestors. Singles read. <clears throat> what's happening for singles read? Singles read. I just feel like a lot of you are just getting out of something here that you just bring a lot of fear a lot of stress into your life um it's like i'm just seeing like you're disconnecting from something this could be a job this could be something that you thought that was gonna last for a long time um i'm just seeing a fallout here for those of you singles a lot of stress, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. This is what I'm seeing here because of this argument, because of this disconnect, because of this transition that is occurring within your life. And then I'm seeing the chariot in reverse. So it's like you don't have the willpower to continue this venture, continue this um foundation. Like you just don't, you're uncertain about the path. Of where this is going to go it's like there is there's no new information coming in about this it's like something it's like you're on the outside looking in this is what I'm seeing like you felt like you were like you were the one outside looking in. Like you felt like you were the one um, kicked out of this situation here. Tell me more. Even though you've given yourself away, I'm seeing you gave more than you, more than this thing have deserved. I'm seeing an opportunity for a second chance here as well. But I just feel like whatever this is for you, um, Gemini's, it's like you're dealing with someone that has a lot of people on their side. Um, I feel like you just feel like this is turned against you, like there's a lot of swords in your back. Like they trying to dis destroy everything that you have built or change everything that you have built but I'm seeing like this person is very charming and I'm also seeing like this energy is coming in to resolve like a semen like they're going to be resolving with you but something about you is that you don't feel right about this you don't feel right about this transition that has taken place. You don't feel right about how they're going about this, how they're coming to you. Like you just feel like something is off within the situation. I mean, there was a lot of things that this person did to you in the past where there was a lot of destruction, deceit, lies, betrayal. There was a lot of shadiness here as well. And they did everything in their power to succeed with this betrayal, to succeed with this deceit. Even embarrassed you.
Hmm. If you're just not sure about this journey, if you want to take this journey um, with these kind of people in your life, singles, it's like, listen to your intuition here. If you're feeling that something is uneasy, then believe it. If somebody shows you once who they are, and I see a lot of people it happens in that power, like, look, if somebody, if I go by this saying, if somebody show you once who they are, believe it. If I listen to that saying from when I was younger, it would have saved me from a lot of embarrassment, a lot of broken hearts, okay? It would have saved me. Believe it. Believe it, believe it, believe it. Don't question it. Don't try to get any kind of clarity, closure. That's just because you want to hold on. Let's face it. That's only because you still want to hold on. So, just move on. Just move on, honey. All right, singles, we have the Empress in reverse. We have the High Priestess. We have the Temperance. I mean, this is all a lot of major arcanas here. We also have Aries. We have Scorpio within the Tower, Cancer within the Chariot as a major arcana. We have Virgo. We have Cancer again within the High Priestess. The Temperance is Sag energy as well for those of you who are dealing with those particular energies. That is your confirmation, okay? The Two of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Interesting. Uh, this could have been someone that grew up with you, that did this to you, or a friend, someone that is very close. You love this person. You love this person. This could be <laughs> singles. This would be someone that you want to be with, okay? Because I'm seeing the Two of Cups, I'm seeing the Knight of Cups. Like this person is very charming or attractive. Um, they know what to do, what to say, how, what to tell you for you to like believe in it. Believe in the lies. Um, they're just coming in cool and collective. But I'm seeing a lot of codependency as well. This is something that you need to work on if it's you. Because this Empress is showing up as being blocked, creative blocked energy, okay? Like you're just showing up as having some force of issues here. Or this could be this person that was very codependent on you. I'm going to tap into this. I don't know if I should tap into this energy, this side, because this is a singles read. But I'm seeing like the high priestess is here. Like you seem like your intuition is fine. Like you're tapped into your power. You have Angel Raphael also protecting you and telling you that you know everything is going to happen at, at the perfect time for you like this confusion what you feel or what you're going through or this confusion that this person is putting you through or put you through in the past like everything is going to work out for you okay this is what i'm seeing within this chariot and this temperance being here Like everything is just uncertain right now. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. Like your path is just shaky. Like you feel like you're lost. Like everything that you try, it just you feel like you just um, you've been pushed back to the, the, the back of the line or something. But everything is where it needs to be. This is what I'm being told. So for those of you who feel lost within the sauce, you are not. You're where you're supposed to be. This might just feel very uncomfortable for you, like this path that you're on. 
but is exactly where you're supposed to be. I'm seeing the two of wands here too. Like this person or whoever you were dealing with before that, you know, disappointed you. Because I'm seeing like there was a choice here that they had a choice to make. And for some reason they didn't choose you. And you're stuck within your feelings. And I'm seeing like this person chose someone else, but you feel like this person still wants to be with you or still wants to be in your life. You feel like this person still looks at you in a, in a way or when you see them, they, they still have those googly eyes, um, like they want to say something. And mm -hmm, the three of wands, you're right, you know, you're right. Um, but is it enough? Is it enough? So, because I'm seeing mutual feelings here, whoever this is for you, that you're dealing with singles. Someone is coming in, someone that loves you the same way. But this person seems like they're with someone else. I'm also seeing the 1111, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords for singles. Read. <clears throat> Again, you know, in your head. Very confused in your head and also showing up as very stuck. A cycle here this person is going to communicate with you I'm seeing conversation I'm seeing conversation coming in some kind of um, crown chakra activity information orbit in your brain um, a talk they're going to sacrifice so I feel like this person is going to make the first move within the hangman after staying away from you for so long after being very distant i just feel like they're very sneaky okay they're very sneaky here but they will sacrifice i feel like this person has gotten some kind of information when it comes to you like will their guys kind of help them out here giving them some kind of spiritual awakening like okay um are you sure about this this is what the path that you want to take i mean I just feel like this person is missing you. There's something special about you and you feel the same way about this person. So I am just seeing like they're going to make their way, but I feel like this was a test for this person as well. Like this, that their ability to tell the truth was being tested. I feel like this person ran away because of the truth. <laughs> and you know pause this relationship um backed away from this relationship because of the truth that was about the five of swords you know this person betraying you lying lying to you to your face or lying to other people about what's really going on here and the argument something that happened with that tower energy was just so crazy this is what i'm getting and I feel like a lot of you like cried yourself to sleep or you changed on a physical level like you're just not the same a lot of you I'm just seeing the nine here the nine and the eight and this is also Gemini's energy as well so these two cards are ruled by Gemini's and obviously you're stressed out you're depressed you have anxiety and plus within this eight of swords you are in your head your love there's a lot of information a lot of thinking about what they have said the information that you have that was given to you um the things that you're thinking about as well within your own mind um but not hearing it from the source okay so you're gonna have to release this energy by yourself because I don't feel like this person is going to help you with that. I mean, I do see a conversation, but at the same time, I feel like the King of Swords is ruled by Gemini energy. And there's a lot of stubbornness there because there's a lot of like, this is what I want to know and I want to know this now. And I don't want to hear any kind of excuses. We already talked about that. I want to hear the truth. You know so it's not really giving this person space to express themselves within this conversation and this person has already shown up as the hangman so most likely this person is going to back away from this and disappear again um, because you're so 
um, you know, you have a lot of authority. Um, I keep saying, um, like, what the fudge. So, you're just showing up as very strong masculine energy. And it's, and it's like, I'm just seeing like this person is going to back away because they're already in this hangman energy of disappearing and pausing the relationship, trying to, you know, look for new perspectives, <laughs> uh, saying that they need some time. And I'm also seeing the Wheel of Fortune, which is a cycle, and the message or the lesson that you're supposed to learn from this person haven't been learned. Some of you are married, which is crazy to me because there is a future coming up for you and this person and then this person is looking at you as a two of cups in rever in the upright so it's not like it's in reverse here so clearly there was a breakup or an argument you don't know what's going to happen you don't know if this relationship is going to continue you're stressed out about it um and this is has been going on for quite a while because this is a single read so you don't know if this person is coming back you don't know if this person is going to be with you then you found out that this person has someone else like they had a choice to make and they made the choice to move on with someone else here now the person that i'm seeing them with is they're still with that person so don't get that twisted just because they you know i'm seeing the two of cups here and the three like they're still watching you and they are double double whammy within this three of wands and this hangman having their cake and wanting to eat it too so be careful be careful i feel like this person is coming up as someone that i might not want what you want right now it's like i'm just being intimidated of you you're just showing up as too too strong for them and i'm also seeing the queen of pentacles where you're just very secure of yourself and your position like who you are and the people that are around you and your responsibilities but i'm just seeing the one thing that you're not sure about is this relationship like where is it going to go but in the future tense i do see like there is some kind of future vibration with you and this person so let's just see singles what's going on because obviously you have someone coming up within your read someone is coming up in singles read this is not about no job or nothing i mean there's a transition but i'm just getting like this is about a person my filter needs more water <clears throat> it's like going bubbly 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 in the behind you guys so you might hear it I might hear it if I can. It's gonna turn off on its own if it doesn't have water, so it looks like it's low. Period. Alright, so let me just put this up. I feel like this chair. Sorry y'all. <laughs> I have to put this up. Alright, so let me just see what's happening here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. This is going to be for this person coming through. This is person's energy. Let me use a stick. This is person's energy. It's coming through. This is person's energy that is coming through. What is this person's energy that is coming through for Gemini's singles? Who is this? Ooh, someone that put you through a lot of trials and tribulations. This is what I'm seeing, and this person lied to you as well, okay? This person was not going to change, and I'm seeing like, <laughs> even though they're sacrificing in, in the hangman, I feel like it's more about them making that first step or making that first move towards you but i don't feel like there is anything that have changed within this person's life that is coming towards you okay you have the eight of pentacles in reverse which is like a loss here and then there's a lot of trials and tribulations within this person's energy and 
and I feel like this person <laughs> is like they like I'm just getting like they like drama because they feel like the more drama you guys have been through together like you're supposed to stay together like if you just get up and let go or move on they feel like you they're they're making it seem like you're weak or it's your fault um that's weird and then i'm seeing the king of swords energy and i'm also no the king of wands and the, also the the ace of uh, cups i'm losing it all right you have the three of swords as well in reverse so this person has been hurt once before or they're talking about some kind of past situation that happened within their life where there was some kind of third party situation before <sighs> some of you i just feel like this person is saying that you were definitely not innocent in the situation within the past they had to process they had to heal um so some of you cheated on this person gems first this is what I'm seeing. They have the Three of Swords in reverse. It's like they forgave you for that, but it's still coming up. You see how that works? Manipulation. So this person wants, wants something here, but I just feel like it might not be with you. This is what I'm getting because when I was pulling your cards, I felt like maybe this person just doesn't want what you wanted, but it's they do want what you want, but it's not... I don't feel like they they're they're questioning if they want to pursue that with you this person is being very immature with that situation when it comes to working things out with you when it comes to very immature excuse me when it comes to that listening to other people's opinion about you being a follower and not a leader um, this card is ruled by Saj I'm seeing a lot of Saj energy too from this card nine of wands energy to the king of wands energy you also have libra too libra within the the justice which is a major arcana and then you have the three of swords but you know this this person is looking for love just like how you are but i feel like this is someone that you had some form of plans with or you could have been married to once before or engaged to let's see but i'm seeing like they're just not sure about this either within the high priestess their intuition is going so off you're uncertain about the future they're talking about the five of cup the five of cups here where they feel just abandoned or sad or have to go through a lot of grief to get to a place of being open to wanting something else with wanting something more when it comes to love um and this person is crazy because i'm seeing like the three of swords in reverse but i don't feel like this person has process this really understand this like this is the reality because it's like they're in the midst of accepting situations but i don't see like they're moving on they're trying to but this is also a setback this is also a setback i'm also seeing the queen of pentacles I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles here. Oh my gosh. I'm also seeing the Ten of Cups and the Hermit and the High the High Front energy, which is Taurus. Let's say Hermit. Who's deal with a Virgo? Okay. <laughs> But I'm seeing Taurus within the bowl. I'm seeing making a decision and really being set by it. Um, I'm just getting like confusing messages with this person because it's like I'm seeing like, okay, they're going through grief and sorrow. They're talking about a past relationship that has happened. And 
they had to release and forgive from that situation. I'm also seeing that they're ready for love, but it's like they're giving you such a hard time here. There's no change within this person's energy. And there's just a lot of in like a lot of their intuition is just they're very sad about why is this coming up what are they sad about holy spirit i just feel like there was some kind of infidelity here <sighs> the two of cups in reverse So a lot of you have been together for a while because now there it's like within your energy when I was pulling and I'm seeing the two of cups in the upright, but now this person is giving me the two of cups in reverse. Like there is some kind of separation between you and this person. So of course it's a singles read, so like I said, but the reality is that this person is still trying to process this energy of uh, being separated from you. And this is the sad situation, trying to accept this loss and sorrow and trying to move on, finding peace. But this is a setback because this is not what this person wanted. This person looked at you as home, but now they're realizing that you're not. So this is for Geminis who have cheated because that's what I'm getting. And now you're single. And you're wondering, because I don't know why this person was coming up in your read. And I wasn't going to do an energy with this person because this is a singles read. I want to keep the singles all about you. But I don't know. I've just been pulled to talk to, to, to tell you or to pull this person's energy in their point of view. Because now they're saying that you did something first. So... This is for Geminis that has went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Obviously, this relationship wasn't easy, all right, because they're saying that there was a lot of trials and tribulations within your relationship. They are. Um, and it still is because they're saying like this energy is a, a constant vibration of protecting each other, a constant vibration of fighting to stay together. Um, and still, it's like that vibration is there, but then there is this dishonesty, there's this unjust, there's like this no change, there's this immaturity, um, this listening to other people, you know, point of view within the situation. But I'm not seeing like this person is giving me a codependent energy. I just feel like this person is embarrassed of everything that has occurred because they're making a decision based on this relationship, choosing to, it is what it is, this might not happen, it might not be a future. Um, there's just a lot of going back and forth or maybe starting over here. And this is all that this person can offer. Something about giving you just a little bit. It's like this person can even give you what you want. And I feel like it's because they're with someone else right now. And I don't feel like this person is going to let that person go because of things that happened with the past situation with you. They no longer look at that as home. So, and this is crazy because they seem to have mutual feelings for each other, even though they're saying it's sep like you guys are separated. And it's very sad. But at this point, this person has to move on and forgive themselves because also they have a part of this. They, they did things too within this vibration for this connection to fail. So, okay, wrong deck, wrong deck. 
tell me more. Holy Spirit, tell me more. All right, so you have the two of uh, wands here. You have the Page of Pentacles, and then you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there's also a blockage set in place. Uh, the Two of Wands. Hmm, this is crazy. Then you have the Queen of Cups, the Sun in reverse, and then you have the Page of Swords. So there's a lot of jealousy here. And it's crazy because this person is saying that they're not happy within the situation. There's just a lot of jealousy. Like, what's going on here? Insecurities, jealousy, player vibes. Like, no one is... It's like I'm not seeing like this person is faithful. And I'm not seeing that you are faithful. Like, I'm just seeing that. <laughs> Listen, this is for someone who cheated. If you didn't cheat on your person, then this don't belong to you, gems. They're saying that there was something that happened that they had to heal from. Okay, so my cat is over there tearing up my um my living room couch. Hmm. <laughs> So I'm seeing like there's going to be a choice within this person's energy. I feel like they're going to take it. They're talking about their future. Um, but I'm seeing like they're losing a lot as well. Like there's just a lot going on here where there's a lot of blockage. Like this person is reckless, you know, or restless energy. Like they're just constantly moving. Um unfocused as well it's like they have change it's like they have i'm just getting like they're sacrificing their happiness for something that is comfortable something that is safe i feel like the person that they're with not to say that they don't love that person but that person is safe so they're doing this based on fear um you're living in fear as well within that nine of swords where you were crying a lot and um you're depressed you have anxiety and they're also dealing with fear as well being with someone that they know that is not going to betray them cheat on them um, they did a lot of things to you as well because you have the five of swords which it's like this person is cold like ice and this person doesn't choose you so in that moment of weakness I just felt like you know you found some kind of you know escape but you felt like this person was your person but you just felt like there was things that were missing from this relationship and hey they're saying there there was some kind of cheating going on there was a third party here so <sighs> but the sun is in reverse with this person and then there's so much insecurities so much insecurities okay so let's see what's happening okay let's see here what's happening here <clears throat> wow perspective better off happiness clear head space Ooh, it's like this is exactly what's needed and I'm seeing like this is going to be coming towards you because right now there's a lot of confusion within both sides within the moon with you and within this person's energy as well they're just like saying it in different ways here it's like they're giving me that five of cups energy sorrow hollow um boredom empty energy that they've been experiencing within the five of cups energy they feel alone they feel abandoned you know there's a lot of stress here a lot of questions i feel like this person who you're dealing with is not someone that communicates or like to talk about their feelings um this is a misunderstanding 
I'm getting misunderstanding here. Victim, lost soul. Again, this person is alone. And they just feel like this just, this it's like this situation just got out of control. And it's like they can't find their way back because guess what? Now other people are involved here. And if they make a certain decision, they're going to come off as very selfish. Like, you know, um, what's that show called? Emily in Paris on Netflix or, yeah, something like that. I hate that show. Um, because that girl is just so selfish. That, um, it's not the girl, it's the, um, the, the story that, 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 character is so selfish i just find her to be so selfish it's like knowing that you want one thing and then don't go after it because of fear right and then have having other people be involved with your situation and not being honest because i i feel like this person they're not even honest with the person that they're with right now they want to be with you they're going through a lot of heartache because they're not with you you're not with you and they want to be with you so it's they're fantasizing about you they're thinking about you they're dreaming about you the two of cups energy i mean and they're with someone else this whole time this innocent person And they don't know how to get back. They don't know how to fix this. <laughs> because they're so deep in it. So deep in it. That's crazy. Alright, so we have distracted. Again, I just feel like this person is trying to distract themselves, do other things so they don't have to think about what they really want. Um change delay it's only a delay honey this is just gonna make things work worse i just feel like you and this person can't be in the same places because it's just the connection is way too strong i'm seeing boundaries so this person is moving away or trying to move away as far as possible from you i'm also seeing possibilities i'm seeing free spirit adventure taking a risk i'm seeing that there's going to be some form of trip that is going to be taken here but i'm also seeing possibilities so you know this is when the star gets into play the universe what did i say look at this rolling the die is second chance huh this is where the second chance come in it says getting back together here it says making amends it says opportunity possibilities opportunities Emily Takes Paris. I hate that show. I hope it gets canceled. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I don't know how she got a third season. Because everybody, I'm not alone. And that show, if you guys watch it, comment down below, you guys. But everybody hates that show. And I don't know why Netflix keeps giving it another season. Stop watching it, people. Like, there's so many shows that deserve a second season, but a show that is so stupid, I personally think it's stupid. The only thing that is, like, good about it is the fashion and the food, but that's about it. It's just so weird. So weird. And so weird. I don't know. And this is reminding me just of it. Just of it just of it this is singles energy and she is single in that show too until further notice okay until if you watch it i haven't watched it. i think i watched like two episodes of the new season and i was like what am i doing <laughs> and i just like don't want to watch it i don't care for it i don't care for the second after she like broke that person's heart like that and don't even care in the last season season two i said this girl is selfish oh no 
So I don't care for season three. I just hope they get canceled. I really do. But ah, sorry if you're a fan, but I'm not. I don't like stupid stuff like that. Like that's not reality. I can't. I can't. You know. I can't. But like resonate with that I can't. <laughs> all right y'all I'm off topic but I'm just saying I don't know why I'm tapping into her show this reminds me so much of it I'm seeing like there's going to be some kind of realization here light bulb is going to go off understanding having an awakening this is when I just feel like look at that the second chance this is when this is going to happen it's like being back together that electricity that passion that that chemistry like it's just a waste of time that you guys are not together singles a waste of time and just hurting other people being with other people that you don't want to be with just so you don't feel lonely because the body needs to be with someone the body needs someone but the soul, when you have a soul contract, that is always the winner. The soul is what lives forever, not the body. The body will fail, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is what I have, you guys. I hope that this does resonate. If it does, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up here on the channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys. Of course, I forgot to press the button and now it's like an awkward waiting. <laughs> and it's still not doing nothing for me, so I'll just wait. Sometimes it turns off by itself. So let's wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna clear the space for another reading.